Hello, I'm Aga from Cybersport, and today I'm here with Humanoid from Fnatic, who just won the five game series against XL Esports. Hi, Marek. Hello. Congratulations on your win. It was a do or die series for you guys, and you lost the previous match against Excel. So, what was different today, and did you expect this one to be that big of a challenge after their performance last week? Uh, yeah, I think Excel is pretty strong, and since they beat us last time, we knew that it wouldn't be easy again. Uh, but I also think the last time we played like very uh, not like not on our level, you know, we played like we underperformed a lot. So we knew that if we if we play like we normally did before that, uh, we would be able to win, which is what happened. Yeah, you won, but for sure it was a tough one. But first two games were kind of one-sided, so I'm more curious about the third one. You had quite quite big advantage, and then that throw happened. Uh, what went wrong? Was it more like a draft issue or consequences of in-game mistakes? Uh, I think it was a bit of both. Uh, we were like we were we were really far ahead, but I think our draft wasn't that great against theirs. But we still we still could have won that game just because of how far ahead we were. But yeah, once we once we lose that one fight and we get behind against like really tanky champions and we have no real way of killing the tanks, then. Uh, it's just really hard to progress. So I would say, yeah, it's a bit of both gameplay and draft. Uh, good that you got back got back in the next games. And we saw a huge jungle change uh, in the uh, the fourth game. And it worked pretty, pretty well. Is Talia something you practiced a lot or it was more like a spontaneous pick? Uh, we practiced it a bit, uh, but also I think Talia jungle is really strong against tanks which is what they seem to really be preparing and just picking it every single game like a lot of tanks. So that's why we were picking a lot of Talia. <laughs> and does Razork enjoy playing Talia more than Ivern? Uh, I'm not sure which one he enjoys more. I think he really likes playing uh, both of them. Uh, since like it's something different than what was meta for a long time, so yeah. Yeah, and coming to meta, how did the meta shift affect Fnatic in general? I mean, it looked like you as a team uh, had some issues after the regular split, and was meta a part of the problem? Yeah, I think after like they deleted Ancient Supports, basically it took us a while to actually adapt, uh, and that's why we we kind of started losing a lot of games, but now I think it's now I think we are completely fine with the meta, so everything is good. Yeah, today it wasn't looking like it was a problem at all. And what about the upcoming uh, upcoming match against BDS? Uh, do you see yourselves as a favorite or rather the underdog? Uh, I see us as favorites uh, because I think that Excel is stronger than BDS, uh, and we won today. So yeah, but uh, of course we can still lose. But yeah, I would say that we we are the favorites. Great to hear that. I want to also ask you about the current state of the West. What do you think about the gap between EU and I and the Eastern teams? Is it bigger than ever, or there is still a chance to do well at Worlds? Uh, I mean, I would say that between West and East, it's pretty big, and yeah, it was pretty big. Uh, last year and the year before as well. So I d I don't know if it's bigger, but yeah, it's pretty big, especially between like maybe the the fourth teams, you know, third or fourth teams. It's not that big, but I think the first and second team from China and uh, Korea are usually pretty far ahead uh, of the Western teams. Uh, and uh, NA against EU, I think it's pretty close, but I don't really know right now because I don't watch uh, NA too much. So, but I would say it's close. Yeah, that's what I wanted to ask about. I mean, uh, the fourth LEC team will face Golden Guardians for a world spot. And I wanted to ask you, uh, is it a free win for EU or that's not so obvious, but uh, you don't really watch an A, so I guess it's hard for you to say. Uh, I would hope so, it's a, that it's a free <laughs> win, uh, but can't really say. But I mean, usually, I think usually the, the fourth teams, the third team from NA is worse than than the fourth and third from EU. I think just the top like one, two from NA are same level as the EU teams usually, but could be different now, but that's what I think. And of course you hope it's gonna be BDS facing them. Of course, yeah. <laughs> okay, so final question. What are your thoughts about current LEC format? Is there anything you would change uh, for the next season? Uh, well, LEC format, I think 
the the best of trees and best of ones, you know, is fine. I think the schedule is absolute garbage. Uh, yeah, there, there's just there's just too many breaks for no reason. Uh, we also, yeah, I mean, the, yeah, there's just there's just too many breaks, uh, and we finish like month later than every other region for no reason. So yeah, but I think the and also I don't like that the the last split is kind of overshadowed by by like the season finals or whatever whatever this is called because when when G2 won the split like three weeks ago it's like sure you win but the real playoffs actually starts in one month so it doesn't really matter yeah XL went second and they are out yeah. in a way yes yeah so that's and also I hate that that spring and or like the first two splits kind of matter for the seating for worlds which also is kind of weird because we we for example have completely different roster but we get punished for uh for having bad splits before and yeah so that that's that's the bad things about the split but i think the you know the move to more best of threes and best of fives is good yeah that's exactly what happened to heretics right they went fourth if i remember correctly yeah. and they didn't even get a chance to play season finals and play at worlds yeah i mean usually if if it was like to be the most fair or like the best teams go to worlds, then only the last split should matter basically, and the first two shouldn't matter. But I guess I think for Riot, the the first two have to matter, or especially the first one, because otherwise it would just be completely useless because there's there's no tournament after that. So they just give it a lot of points to make it like seem useful. But yeah, maybe they should just add another tournament and not make it you know as as important for worlds. Yeah, there are some rumors about the third international tournament uh, going uh, between winter and spring, I believe. Yeah, I mean, that would be that would be pretty nice and would make more sense for the scheduling for sure. Yeah, so we will see what's going to happen next year. Anyway, thank you for your time and good luck next, next week. Thank you.